Di, great result for us at the weekend. Kingston Park never an easy place to go. No, I thought, in, in fairness, we played really well in patches. A little bit sloppy in patches, but you know, I thought we always had a little bit to spare. And as you say, to come away with five points, we, we were thrilled really, because to go there and get a win is, is difficult enough, but to come away with maximum points, you know, we've we got to be pleased with that. Yeah, it left it late, but those five points really assert us in that third position in the table. It does, and you know, as I said, the most important thing was the win, obviously, uh, but th that, extra, that extra point is going to pay uh, dividends, hopefully, towards the end of the season. It's so tight at the moment, we're well placed in third, but there's 20 points still up for grabs before the end of the season, so all to play for. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, as I said, we, we where we want to be, we want to be in our top four. Uh, some big games coming on the corner, uh, obviously one on the weekend is huge in the significance in where people lay in the top four. If we want to stay in the top four, if we want to give the top four a real crack, you know, if we can get this result at home against, against the Saints on the weekend, it'll put us in a very strong position. I guess the worrying thing for you is two sides chasing you, Leicester and Saints are sides used to finishing very strongly in the league. Yeah, that's you know, that's something that is pretty new to us. I don't think we've been in the top four since two thousand and eight. I think last year was the first year we've been in the top six for, for a number of years as well. So they're far more accustomed to that, but uh, that doesn't mean that they'll want it more than us and you know, we've worked hard as a squad and and as a management and hopefully we can, can achieve a little bit more than we wanted you know, to achieve. Our target this year has always been top six and I've maintained that. Uh, we've pretty much uh, got one foot in our top six and it would have to be a disaster for us not to get in the top six. So you know, we, we're pretty much looking at ticking one box off and know that we're there with four games to go in our top four. We want to stay in our top four. So every game's a massive game and every point won and lost is going to be critical, I, I believe, you come the end of the season. We're obviously in some pretty good form of late, but Northampton, a good win for them against Quinns and playing some good rugby. Yeah, absolutely. And as you rightly said, they seem to time things really well. And I think uh, if you look at um, the more successful teams over the years, they always come with late runs, really. So, um, you know, it's um, we put ourselves in a good position, but, you know, we need to keep winning, we need to keep performing. Uh, and hopefully we're there, you know, after another four games. But uh, this has a huge significance in in you know how it's going to finish really because if we can get this win on the weekend it starts opening up uh, a bit of gap then it puts a lot of pressure on, on the teams uh, behind us really to, to squeeze us out that top four. It's been a balancing act for you in terms of team selection all season but now two massive games first of all that game this weekend against Northampton and then a quarter final against Exeter it's obviously a tough challenge for you to, to get that right. Yeah, and you know, on the back of winning a lot of games as well, like the internationals are coming back and and done some great stuff on the international circuit. But the boys here have been playing really well, and I think we won nine out of ten games. So um, you know, they've made it as difficult as they can for for the returning internationals to get back in the team. So um, certainly, it's been a balancing act over that period. But uh, everybody that's been given an opportunity has really taken their opportunities. The fans have been great for the side this year in in the big games, and now. Two massive games, both at the Rico Arena. That must be a great boost to know that the fans should come out again and, and really provide some support. Well, since we've been in the, doing the Rico, you know, we love playing there. I think it's, um, you know, we get a fantastic welcome on the way in. I think this, even the supporters come down and welcome us off the bus, which is fantastic. Um, so the players, as soon as they get off the bus, know that they didn't do a big game with a big atmosphere. They've always come out in the numbers, and you know, when when we need them in games, they've always been really vocal. So you know, we certainly love. Uh, play there. We feel it's a responsibility as well because we've got a responsibility to reward them people that come up and support us with, with big performances and hopefully wins. So we're really looking forward to playing at the Rico. We love playing there and certainly the supporters really pay a big part in, in all our performances.